YouTube, this is Ashley Ashlock. I wanted to do a video with you guys today of the four different ways in which you can combine locks to make thicker lots. So I'm going to also be going over the pros and cons of them um, as well. So the first one I want to talk about, two of the four do not require any sort of tools to do them. The first one I would say is when you're have two locks that are together next to each other. You make an opening in the lock. You find one that's closest to it and you have an opening and you stick the lock through it in the new growth. I'm not going to actually do it here because I do not want to combine this lock. But yeah, you just stick it on through and then over time the lock will, at the new growth point, will grow and that will become one solid lock. Now, um, one of the negatives of doing this method is that this part here, <laughs> where whatever amount of hair that you had prior to connecting it, that will still be visible. So there are, once you have, this is sort of like you can have it as a two point, two point um, combined method. So you can do that for the initial part of it to grow them in. And then with this extra um, hair here, we can discuss the three other methods which you can use to go ahead and combine this in to one. You can keep it separate as two or what I did in the beginning because I had about 90 some locks and I combined to have about 64, 65 now. So with the hair that's remaining, you can two strand twist it and if the more baby locks that your hair is, like with the more frizz, it's easier um, because you can actually at some point, as with this one, you can see where I have the two strand twist, but then this bottom bulb was able to combine as to a solid one. So that's because I had more frizz. And so um, a con with this twisting method is that over the course of time, no matter how long you have your locks, you can still see these two strand twist in about 98% of the locks that have that two strand in them once combining. Another method of what you can do um, is to sew the locks together. So I did do that for some of my locks. I just sewed them together to make them as one lock. But the con of that over time is that I was able to see the little um, black thread and I would start to pick at it and eventually I'm with two separate locks again So that is something you can do and that does last you just take some regular black thread a regular needle and literally Sew the locks together to make it one solid lock and the new growth at the beginning will grow in solid You can do that either Interconnecting method which I showed you or just take two locks and sew them together a third alternative is to use a crochet hook. Um, I do have one two head dragon. So I'm just going to briefly kind of show what I do here. Um, if I wanted to combine these, I am going to keep it separate, but I'll go over briefly what you can do. So you just, you have a 0.5 crochet hook. Uh, let me move his focus to here. So 0.5 crochet hook, I just got it on Amazon and I just go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and you just keep doing that until it solidifies the whole lock. Now, I've done this to some of my locks, and when I have about this much left, for it to turn into a solid looking lock, it takes me about 15 minutes just for this small amount. So depending on how long your locks are, this can take, this crochet hooking method, can take a really long time. So once I've done that, I kind of like palm um, roll, the lock together and kind of damp it and just to try to make it stay so over the course of time you may notice like little holes where the two locks are separated if you need to go in and um, make the lock more secure you can you also have the option of cutting off your um, the part after it combined which i have done for some of my locks because i like that the new growth is growing in solidified and um, I can cut I cut it off, but I am going to wait for more length 
for some locks before I cut them. Like for example, this one, I'm just going to get to the point eventually where I just cut that off. That's something that people can do. Or you can just, um, to combine, you can just not retwist and sort of like do an exclusive free form, even from your locks where they're at now, because without separating your locks, they will combine together at the root. But like I said, you'll have your endings separate, depending upon how long your hair is, that may not be a problem, it's really up to you. So just um, if you wanted to have thicker, fuller roots or thicker locks overall, to preserve the longevity of your locks. Those are just some of the different methods which you can use um, for combining your locks. Let me see if I missed anything here. So yeah, um, and it also some of the cons of combining your locks is that unfortunately, sometimes, like depending upon which method you use, it will always show in your hair where you have combined those locks. So that can also be a storytelling, give a history of your locks of where it comes from and you may need to redo such as the locks that i had um because when i first combined my locks i didn't have this crochet hook i had no idea how or how people were doing this method but i do know this when it's frizzier that it does work better so had that did that method in the beginning my locks might have turned out different than the way they do now but um working with what i have now when I see locks that have the thread for the ones I did the thread method with, I do notice that I pick them out because it's just, I don't know, I just don't like seeing that in them, especially with me almost three years locked and I see black thread in my lock. So I've just taken them out as I see the thread and um, I have two separate locks and I've used a crochet hook to, um, to connect them so that's something you can do or how I have that two-headed dragon is I just decided to leave that one alone for the locks that you two strand twist you can either sew them at the end to keep them together or you can tie a rubber band but with the rubber band method I don't know how long it would take for the ends to seal now the looser your hair is at the bottom or you can probably comb out the end and two strand twist that in or um, plait that in to make it stay because um, you have to do that for both locks because otherwise it's going to keep unraveling and I don't know how long you want to have a rubber band on the end of your hair but that is methods with the two strand twist so yeah if you're just looking to make your locks fuller combine locks I would suggest to do it early on in your lock journey and ideally from the very beginning that way you can have your parts in a certain order because one of the cons of combining locks um, is that you have different type of part lengths I'm sorry the width of your parts are kind of uneven and depending upon which locks may need to have been combined because some were thinner than the other you might end up with a disproportion of um, locks on one side of your head versus the other I will say for myself example I have um, this one lock here is what I would feel kind of like some of my locks I feel like they are further back to start like on one side versus another side but that's because when I combined it kind of um, made the pattern kind of different so that's just something to look out for and yeah so you can go ahead combine your locks at any point in the lock journey to be earlier you do it if you decide that your locks are not maturing at the thickness that you want it's better to go ahead and um, combine it now because as your locks grow they will get thinner over time like they start off thick and puffy but they will get thinner so I would suggest like you do not trim off the frizzes especially if you want thicker locks because your locks will um, thin over time okay this is Ashley Ashlock just want to go over the different type of methods of combining locks if you have any questions comments you can like subscribe peace